If you have PCOS, I almost guarantee that no one has explained this to you, but I'm going to right now. Here is your pancreas, this guy right here. Pancreas, when you eat something, especially carbohydrates, your body then breaks it down to glucose for energy. And glucose then cause your blood sugar to rise and stuff like that. In response to your blood sugar levels rising, your pancreas releases a hormone called insulin. Insulin is super important because one of its functions is to help move the glucose from your bloodstream into the cell. Now, most women with PCOS have insulin resistance. Your cells don't respond properly to insulin's signals, which isn't optimal because then you don't get the energy that you need, causing you to feel fatigue, tired, brain fog, have increased cravings, etc. So as a result, your pancreas has to produce even more insulin. Insulin goes up leading to elevated insulin levels. Insulin, it's not just about sugar, it also acts as a growth signal. It actually instructs your cells to build, produce, and grow. If we're talking about your ovaries, extra insulin equals actually more testosterone. Well, more testosterone equals more acne. Irregular ovulation, that's why women with PCOS struggle with irregular periods. It can lead to weight gain. It can cause hair loss. It can cause hair growth in places like your face. It leads to all a bunch of these PCOS symptoms that are giving you a headache. And this is exactly what we try and help you. We try to help you figure out what foods and what amounts and what combinations at what time is best for your glucose levels based on your body's response so that we don't put so much pressure on that pancreas. 